so we're going to go over some sig figs, the rules for them, and how we determine um, what they are. The first rule is the easiest. Any number, 1 through 9, is significant. So if we have something like 276, we have the 2, the 7, the 6. All of those are significant, so we have three sig figs. Okay, really, really easy there. The only really hard one is when we start getting to this big dreaded zero. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and there are three rules um, that go with zero, and the first one is always. And the second one is sometimes. And the last one is never. So let's look at those three rules and go from there. It is always significant if between numbers. Okay, so if I have 109, that zero is significant. This, <clears throat> this is three sig figs. All right, because 109 is not equal to 19. We can't say that that zero is not a placeholder that, or that it's not there. Um, or that I didn't measure it. Okay, if, I, if I could measure the 9, then I could definitely measure the 10s, right? So um, 109, so in between numbers, and if I have something like this, that's still in between numbers. If I have something like this, it doesn't matter how many zeros I have between numbers, they're still between two numbers, so those are both significant as well. Okay, our second one, three times. If at the end of the number, and the number has a decimal. All right, so look, let's look at this guy. If I have 190, that is two sig figs. All right, my 1 and my 9. This number, because it is at the end and there is not a decimal, is not significant. If I have that, we have 3 sig figs. Okay, so in chemistry and physics, that decimal point becomes very, very important. It tells you how you are going to round and how many numbers are significant, which can very drastically change your uh, numbers at the end. The other thing... This is significant. I have a zero at the end. I have a decimal that is four sig figs. Okay, this zero goes back to my first rule. It is between the one and the four, so it is also significant. All right, and last, never when it is before the number. All right, so if I have this number, nobody ever worries about those two zeros. It's 134. We have three significant numbers. These two are not significant. If, on the other hand, I write the exact same thing and I put my decimal right there, these two numbers are still not significant, okay? They, they do not count, and the reason why is I can rewrite this number just like that, without those zeros, and keep everything in the same place holders. So your three rules, always between numbers, sometimes when it is at the end of the number and the number has a decimal, and never when it is before the numbers.